Zor, Zelz, Zelz, Zelzor, Eternal Exile. I think that's him. No, I think you're thinking of a different, different person. It's Merkel, Lord of Bones. Oh, did I not write that down? Which one did I write down then? Hold on. I think. What did I write down? Which one is Zelzor? Oh, this! The target everybody. Oh, nope, let's build him. Yeah, the Zel the Zelfzor. This thing. I was like, this oh, is okay. the me and Derek deck. Yep, let's do him. Because he's yeah. a creature based deck, so let's do like a. Now we'll do a Spell Slinger deck. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because weirdly, the uh, the Absent guy is. Uh, he's a cre. He's mostly you're going to play creatures. Mm hmm. So. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I should I should write him down as well. I just didn't. So, what do we want to name him? Uh, Oprah. Yeah, that that's a great name. <laughs> you get a spell. You, you get, get a, a cool spell. ultimatum. You get a cool. Is that how you spell her name? Uh, I have no idea. Um. Well, it is now. Yeah, yeah, right. Oprah. Let's see if anything comes up. Nope. Okay, so what's the? It's hold on. It's Zel Zor. Uh, it, it's oh yeah, it's a uh, yeah Zev Zevlor. Oh, it's Ze Zevlor. There we go. This stupid well, bullshit. So hold on. Let's do the easiest part, which is get through all of the payoffs. That's the mm -hmm. easiest way to do it. So, because we know those like the back of our hand. So let's get through all that first. So Archmage. Archmage Emeritus, Storm Kiln Artist. Mm. Do you want to know what really scares me about this one, to be 100% honest? Let's what? say you play a deck that you're playing things that untap creatures. If you have a Storm Kiln, weirdly, like, or, because there are things that let you target weirdly, like a player, or like it to target everyone, or like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. it, like, it, it, it gets kind of stupid. Like like Jetaxian probe, how that works. Yeah. So storm kiln. What else do we want to play? Uh, S Sedgemore witch is another one. Yes, Sedgemore sounds good. Uh, twinning staff. Yes, twinning staff sounds stupid. And then we need the win cons, which is uh the onyx. Oh, and, uh, onyx and uh, Rao. We also, I think, we want Viren, voice of duality. He's the other. He's the magecraft dude that lets your uh magecrafts for your second time. Yes, uh, Varan. Yeah. Not just Magecraft. It's not yeah, just it's Magecraft, a... it's everything. Mm -hmm. Everything that triggers when you cast a spell, when you cast an instant or sorcery, double triggers. Everything. So it, it double triggers Shark Typhoon. How do you spell him? It's Varan? Oh, uh, it's um, V-E-Y-R-A-N. That's what I did. They ran, and then we want uh, I got Onyx and Rao. We want Fury Storm because that just wins games. Uh, and then do we want to play like Token Makers as well? Like, do we want Dika? Dika seems good, I guess. We right? could. Uh, Shark Typhoon's always so. Good. Question is, are we making this just no fun for anybody, or are we gonna like try to make this? Well, it's, a little prob it's probably it's probably a little bit of both. Wait, why is it not? Oh, I got two of them on accident. Oh my god. Hiya, oh my god, this guy who I'm working with here. Wait, there's gotta be other magecraft things that we should be playing. So we got the storm kiln. Uh, well, I don't think like I don't think it needs to be a storm deck. I think it's just a good pile of cards, but with the annoying cards that work with her. Which we will get to that, but let's get through this package that we've done like a million times. So do we wanna play what other things do we want to play as payoffs? Do we wanna play like uh, we, Talran we or I like oh, actually I like uh, gutter snipe. Gutter snipe, because it could it could actually straight kill somebody or kill people. Well, remember this one doesn't have magecraft, but I I do agree that that the damage is not bad. because uh, also triggers another time with uh Vayner. Oh, also um, randomly with all their effects, uh, I I like the uh the har har uh, harmonic prodigy. Because they're, most of the magecraft stuff are either or, or spell casting stuff are either wizard or shamans. Mm -hmm. Do you want to play any so, more token makers like Murmuring Mystic, Docent, 
I don't ramp. think so because the thing is, I think we get our targeted removal becomes like per opponent, and so I think that's going to come. In, in, so, so in we're going to play more of a control deck and then win with our combos like Fury Storm or things like that. Yeah, or like cr uh, Cruel Ultimatum, maybe like uh, getting some spells back. We'll definitely like, Cruel Ultimatum. So yeah, Cruel Ultimatum is really cool. Snap is really cool in this deck because you untap two lands when you cast it. And so you get to make the copies of it, so everybody gets hit by it, and you get to untap six lands. Mm -hmm. um, we could steal stuff from their decks with stuff like bribery or, or acquire. Jessica's will is very stupid. Yep, hundred percent. And probably reiterate. Oh, that's so mean. Read this card, Tom. Head games. Target opponent. Puts the cards from his deck. Wait, hold on. Target opponent puts the cards from his or her hand on the top of his... I hope you enjoy having seven lands in your hand. That's so mean. You know what's even funnier with this card of how it's worded? If you flash an op agent, you get to pick seven cards or more or less from everybody's deck. <laughs> what's the one that you, you take their turn? Oh, uh, Worst Fears. I also like Thoughtseize. What do you think about Thoughtseize? Let's do it. I think I think it's good. Now, this is going to be a weird instance in this deck where, like, we do need a lot of mana because it's two to activate Do we want to play Niv Mizzet? Uh, we could. Oh, we could. Yeah, I like Niv Mizzet. Uh, we could, we could run Jataxian Probe. Yeah, we definitely want Jataxian Probe. Isn't there, like, uh, peak as well? Doesn't that, like, let you look at the top of their... I think so. Look at target player's hand, yes. Draw a card, so it draws three. There's no other, like, instant oh. sorcery payoffs we want to play? There's uh, gotta be, it, there's gotta be it, more. Extract brains is kind of cool. What about, like, metallurgic, or... Oh, uh, we could do metallurgic summoning, yeah. In case we want to like add everything back, which say what you said again? Which card? Oh, it was um extract brain. Target opponent uh chooses X cards from those her hand. Look at those cards. You may cast a spell from among them without paying its mana cost. That sounds good. Also, like kill spells out the ass. Like we can play bedevil. We can play. Baleful Mastery. Heroes Downfall. Terminate. Yeah, Terminate. Oh, uh, we could t also totally run uh, Cast in this deck. Yes, that sounds good. Praetor's Grasp is also pretty, uh, pretty cool. Oh, like, ex Exhaustion is really mean. Do you want to play, uh, uh, the Steel Effects? What are they called? It's Treachery? Uh, Treachery bribery and, what? and bribery, and uh, acquire is the other one. Treachery. Oh my god, treachery is so much money. Bribery. Oh, that's also such an enchantment. We want the sorcery, so that um, I was gonna be a no fun deck. I love it. Uh, acquire. Um, and what's the inevitable betrayal? Is the other one.
Oh. Uh, we got primal, Jessica's will, right? Hold on, primal amulet? Uh. What's the brawl? Oh, yeah, brawl. Yeah. Oh, uh. And then what's the guy that's the day or night guy? Uh, that's, um, uh, what's his face? Uh, Vadric, Astral Archmage. Patriarch Seal, this is pretty good. It's the mana rock that untaps a legendary you control as well. Oh, that's cool. The cool thing about the mana reduction things is that it could, if we have enough, it actually pays for the two activation costs, basically. So if it's, like, two colorless in the, 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 the card spell, because mm -hmm. we have to pay an additional two for our commander, but, like, maybe we shouldn't even run, like, Electromancer. Well, we can also play what's the enchantment we like, Jesus Sanctum. Yeah, we also have the Myriad Wizard that does the same thing. Jesus Sanctum. Yeah, there's also the new one that uh, your instant sorceries cost less for the amount of times you've cast your commander. Do we want to play like Brass's Bounty or like? Uh, does it target? No, but it's it's another combo with reiterate. Oh, okay. oh, oh, double vision, double vision, because that does work. The one the once per turn, it'll add another one. And then uh, because we're oh, definitely well. a deck that we're going to play off of our turn when our hero's downfalls or uh, I guess it's kind of hard to untap off our turn, but it's probably still fine. Swarm intelligence. Swarm intelligence. What about River's Rebuke? Oh, that, yes. That's, yeah. And we could play Rift, too. Uh, here he is. It's called um, Wizards of Thay. I had a copy back here. Shit. All right, so Va Vandal Blast, too? We can do Vandal Blast. What is it called? Wizard of what? Wi that's, uh, oh, Wizard that's the of... Myriad? Yeah. It's just another instant sorcery cost less thing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, man, never mind. Oh, that's kind of cool. Invoke so, Despair is a single target. Target opponent, sacrifice a creature. If they can't, they lose two life and you draw a card. Do the same for an enchantment or a planeswalker. That's very good. That'll draw like nine cards if they can't do what it does. It's just hard to play because it's triple black. You know, it's also a targeted spell, Tom. Eternal Dominion. It's the epic card that searches target opponent's library for an artifact creature, enchantment, nope. or land. Nope. You get three copies. Nope, no epic. <laughs> No, I know. Um, I mean, we could just put some generic stuff too, like counterspell. I mean, we probably should. Disallow. Counter you think maybe this is an arcane melee deck? What's arcane melee? It's the make some cost two less. Oh, definitely Mystic <laughs> Confluence. <clears throat> and Sublime Epiphany, that is targets. A Pongify is kind of cool because you could actually destroy up to like three things, but I guess we don't really need that with our other yeah, spells. Yeah, we have, we have black, so we could just play like Infernal Grasp for one more, and they don't get a creature. So I got Sublime, Disallow, Counterspell, Counterflux. Uh, what else is in these colors? Arcane Denial, I guess? Yeah, uh, we could also do like a Counter Squall.
Well, what's this one say? Target opponent reveals the top seven cards of his or library may cast since or sorcery without paying their mana costs. Uh, spell mastery, if there are two or more instants in your graveyard, you may cast up to two revealed instant or sorcery cards instead of one. Clone Legion, for each creature target player controls, create a token that's a copy of that creature. That's an eight drop. That's, that's a nine drop, though. And that means we would need 11 mana to activate. Out, do we get River's Rebuke in? Yes. Expansion Explosion. Uh, I see a, uh, another favorite card uh, people seem like playing is um, uh, Rakdos' Return. It deals oh. X damage to target opponent. Yep, that I, I, I know. Like yep, cards. yep, I, yes, I know that card, yep. You know, Expansion Explosion, the actual, like, draw and deal damage, because it's to target whatever, you would copy it for each one. Yep, I, 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 I got that in there. Yo, is this weird, weirdly uh, a Kark the Thumbless deck? Because we could potentially put the original back into our hand. Oh, but I guess we don't want to do that, because if it does go back into our hand, we don't kill the first thing that we wanted to target. Yeah, it's yeah, it's not that amazing. This seems terrible. I would not want to play against this. Any other more interaction or like, should we play some board wipes? Oh, uh, I guess, uh, I guess we're not. We have Rivik rivers and rift but oh uh we could do are there any other just... funny funny ones that just target like one player um uh i don't think i'm that big on sedmore witch oh we could we don't we could don't have to run it <laughs> Cleansing Wildfire. Destroy target land. Its controller may search their library for a basic land. Draw a card. Yeah. So you just pop three lands, they get basics, but you draw three cards? Definitely. Do we play Brass's Bounty just to have something else to copy with? Uh... Yeah, yeah, we can do that. There's also Mana and... Geyser works too, but I don't yeah, know I how still, on Mana still... Geyser you are. I like Mana Geyser. Just to have the three that combo with that, so that we have another way to win other than just Fury Storm. Oh, oh, we want the new card that makes a copy of a legendary. What's it's oh. in Invic Invic Invixis something I know exactly what you're talking about, I just can't think of it. I have it in my pocket hold on I gotta, I gotta find it. <gasps> my password. Oh no, I saw it. I just put it in. Nine hundred and eight views. What the fuck? Did I play this on something? Uh, I don't know. Usually my, this... my, de my decks that have a lot of views is because they were on Mudsta. I don't think this is on a Mudsta thing. Okay, it's... I gotta find it. It's the... This. Arrhenius File Duplication. I think this is worth it. Alright, yeah. Yeah, because it can copy any of these. Like, Ve imagine a world where you copy Veyran. Or even just copying the commander. Commander. Arrhenius. File duplication. 
Did you say you want to try arcane melee too? Like even more ways to make them cost less? Yeah, just because we our commander does make basically arcane. the way our commanders word it, it, it makes them have a attacks of two mana if you re if realistically if you want to use them with him. Let me look over here see if there's anything that we're not playing. Can't use that. Uh, that all looks good. Shark. Stick with that. Okay, man. Unwind. Oh, this is probably definitely a Salindi vision. We'll get to that. Salindi, reiterate. Reality shift. Fury storm. Fact. Seagate Restoration. Deep Analysis. Whisper Zoom. Oh, Lithoform Engine. Definitely Lithoform oh, Engine. Yeah, I like that one. Because that copying our commander's effect means we get that many more, right? Is that how that's worded? Um, if we yeah, copy we our copy... commander's effect, it's going to make an yes. extra... Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's going to hit those players twice. Yep. It also is just another thing to copy spells, so. Well, the activated, copying the activated or triggered ability is the lowest one. Should we play, like, Thousand Year Elixir? or Thousand Year Storm. No, 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 no. The one that untaps a creature. Oh, uh, is it Thousand Year Elixir? Would we rather play just one that untaps any permanent, so that it's, like, a little bit better? Because it can also, uh, like, ramp a land? Or, or, or... We could play... Um, Do we want to play the Sphinx? Even though it's a lot of mana? Or we play Freed from the Real on our commander. That's true. Can't do that. Seems good. Wait, Cryptic Command's good, right? Because that can target... I or... can target a spell to bounce, yeah. Or a, a permanent, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh... But yeah, do we want to play any other way to untap it? Um... Because there's, like... A, isn't there, like, a, a blue creature that's a two-drop that can, like, tap to untap, like, a, a permanent? Oh, uh... It's that zombie thing. Um, Nate, Nightscape Familiar is another one that like makes blue and red spells cost one less to cast. Um. Oh God. Uh, oh, that's actually that's actually really good for us. Not Fate Spinner. Um, it's like a weird zombie that you get untap a target permanent. There's also spells that do it too. Yeah, but we want the like the it's, it can it can keep. Happening. Wait, hold on a second. I think I have it in my binder right do we, here. Do like, we want to play the one way that lets us like? You know, uh, uh, Fate Stitcher. You tap to untap another target. Uh, you may tap or untap another target permanent. I think that's good for us because it's ramp and uh, it can untap our commander. So that seems good. Do you think we need any more kill spells? What do we have? We got terminate snap. I think we're okay. I love Baleful Mastery. Even though it lets them draw, it doesn't matter. It exhausts things. And it also hits Planeswalker. It seems so annoying. So Varan works with this, but Harmonic doesn't. So let's look at everything that it works with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, these don't, well, th those don't have abilities, so hold on. Uh, I don't think this does either. So it's just this, 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 a three. Four, five. Technically, if we counter something, six, seven. But it doesn't work with our commander. 
So it's probably still okay, I guess. Um, another thing I think we could also probably run, uh, maybe just like another potential way to end the game is um, uh, Torment to Hellfire. Like maybe we have the infinite mana combo, but like that could be like another payoff. Well, yeah, that just kills people. I mean, mm -hmm. is there not? Oh, shouldn't we play the burn spell that targets and it does like five times the amount? Because you could target one player. And... Oh, uh, yeah, it's um, is it Apex of Power? No, Apex no. of Power is a draw. No, um, that's. Oh. Hold on. I know Hold exactly what you're talking about. Seagate Restoration, Salindi Vision. So, uh, Vision. Probably Hagger Mauling is probably good for this because it kills yeah. something. Hagger Mauling. Uh, Shatter Skull Smashing. That targets. Shatter Skull. Uh, Feed the Swarm also targets. I don't know if you hit that. Oh, oh we should definitely play that. I love Feed the Swarm. I'm just thinking MDFCs right now. Did I get Salindi? Yes. Agra. Got Shatter Skull and Seagate. So what what were you saying? You were saying something. What was? Um. No, I was just trying to think of uh the spell name. It's not it's not Apex of Power. Um. It's uh it's the red one that like. It's times, yeah. Uh, I know other uh, other decks run it as like its win condition. Mm -hmm. Soul ring. This is definitely another chromatic lantern deck. What's the new thought vessel called? Decanter. Uh, a decanter of endless water. Wow, why can't I think of this card name? <sighs> Gotta play the two most expensive talismans. Crackle of Power, that's what it is. Not Apex of Power, Crackle of Power. It deals five times X damage. What about, um... Is Banefire bad? No, because uh, it can't be countered and the damage can't be prevented if it's like over five. And then you get to hit everybody with it. That seems pretty good, right? Uh, okay, so I was on to the Mana Rocks. Might even be a Gilded Lotus deck. Got some high cost things. Do we want to play the Sphinx as our one way to untap our commander? Uh, we could. We, we could. It seems decent. I love Sphinx in these kind of decks. I've been pushing it so much on people. Okay. So now we got to get into the lands. Because uh, I think we're good on everything else. So, uh, Did we get like the mana rocks in? Yeah, I did all that. Yeah, I did Thought Vessel... The three talismans, soul ring. Uh, we have patriarch seal, which is the untap a legendary, uh, gilded lotus, decanter, chrome, and arcane signet. Okay, yeah, I, I like that. Yeah, it seems good. Uh, so any cute lands? Um, well, we have uh, Xander's Lounge is the new new one. Yes, real quick. Sanders Lounge. Just looking at Utility Land. Bog. Oh, uh, Minamo School at Water's Edge. Oh my god. Oh that's yeah, that untaps a legendary. Yeah. Minamo. Yeah. School. Anything else? Um, uh, I guess I don't know. Really care about Bog. Um. 
We got Reliquary Tower in there, right? Yep. Urborg. Uh, also, we get the run Urborg. Yep. Um, maybe, like, a Desolate Lighthouse is the last thing you can think of if you really have nothing to do with the mana, but that just seems okay. No, I think we need our, like, perfect colors in this deck so we cannot play that that much utility. Because, like, we have some ridiculously costed pips. Yeah. Like, we, we have some bonkers pips. Okay, so... Oh my god, yeah, we're gonna have to cut a lot of stuff. So let's get to the lands. So it's Blood Crypt. This is where all the money comes in. Look at how much it is before we start any lands. Oof. So Blood Crypt. Watery Grave. Watery Grave. And then, again, Steam Vents. Steam Vents. Because... Red blues become one of the best colors in the game. And then we have Morphic Pool. Uh, and then it's Training Center. Yep. And then Luxury so Suite. Uh, yep. Luxury Suite. And then we got Sulfury Spring. Okay. And then under luxury suite is down to eight dollars yeah. it hurts my heart no oh luxury same thing with more under, pool underground river right is the yeah because underground sees the uh and then uh what's the other it's uh battle no it's the red uh, it's sulfurous blue, blue. sulfurous springs i got that it's um, the blue then... blue red oh uh shivan reef shivan reef that's the one i always forget uh, and then the Innistrad lands. And we're probably uh, a Filters deck, too. Oh, yeah, so it's Stormcarved Coast, Taunted Ridge, Shipwreck Marsh. Because we don't care about land ramps, so Shipwreck Marsh. And then what's the other one? Stormcarved Coast, Shipwreck Marsh, and what? Uh, Haunted Ridge. Haunted Ridge. And then the filters, it's Cascade Bluff. Mm hmm. Um, Raven Cairns. And Sunken Ruins. Cairns. Sunken Ruins, which is the expensive one. I think. I think they're all already going back up. Yep. This and mm -hmm. this and look at the price of this. It's it's blue. It's you know because that one they have this one. This one's played in modern. Yep. So, uh, okay, so that's the lands. Did I do command tower? Yes. Uh, we're, uh, any other? Oh, well, basics. Uh, island. Mountain. Swamp. So, oh dear God! So we're at twenty four, and it's one, two. I see two, three, four MDFCs. So that's twenty eight lands. So we need da da da. Would you want to run like one the one myriad landscape? No. Well, obviously only one, but no, 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 no. I don't think we have enough basics for that or Wayfarer's Bobble. We need the colors. We can't we can't play that many basics, and this is the opposite of the deck we just built. Uh, so three swamps, the most islands. It looks like blue, red, and the red and the red and black. Heavy. The red and black. Yes, the black is pretty heavy. So I got, if we're going to put one more land, I think the blue is still the highest, right? So mm -hmm. it could be three swamps, two mountains, and five islands? Or do you just want to do three mountains, three three swamps? Or four swamps, only two mountains, and four islands? No, I, li I like the, the, the higher uh, island count. Yeah, so I agree. 
Okay, so that's 117 cards. God damn it. All right, have fun. Uh, Ugh. All right, this is this has to attack, so I'm not I'm not a big oh, I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, and then let's start picking through these. Uh, it's definitely probably in these. Oh wait, this is tre- This isn't right. No, because the yeah, treachery is the enchantment. We don't want that. What was the one that we wanted? Bribery. Oh, which I think I got that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we want to keep those. I think we don't have a ton of enchantments. I think I th- they're all I th- really good. I, th- I think this is the worst, right? Technically, the worst. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we need all. I think at, at a point, it's it's too much. Uh, because we even have this one too. And also, I'm never like a huge fan of this, but in this, we're like we're doing nothing other than trying to assemble a combo or kill them. I think it stays. Yeah, so that, we're that's just slow, a lot of spells. Right, that slow burn for this is going to be good in here. Even though it doesn't work when it's copied, it's still it's still fine. Uh, I don't think we can cut any of these creatures, really. I mean, I guess Harmonic Prodigy? Because, like, is the Wizards really that good to, like, play a slot for Archmage, or is our commander doing that well enough? Well, it's that. It's also for Varen copies additional time. Vadric will get a... Actually, no, not Vadric. Oh, yeah, because tr- his ability will trigger... Storm Kiln Artist, I think, also gets another treasure. Niv gets an extra trigger. Uh, that's not triggered. This... Gutter Snipe triggers a second time. Triggers a second Pico. time. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Like it just doesn't. Our... It just doesn't work with the commander. Is the thing. No, but it's more like supporting for the actual creatures we play in in the main board. Okay, so what's the worst of what we're playing? So, I love the Devil. We have a lot of sorceries. I think. Maybe we want to like look there first. Is this two cheese or is this hilarious? I think it's two cheese. Yeah. I think there's too many good cards that to hit that thought seeds just might not get there for because you're still only hitting one card out of each opponent's hand. Like people get windfall. Is, is this and two it, cheese or? No, that one I actually think is good because that could rip everyone. That makes everyone potentially discard the whole hand. That's just a big difference. So these win. This this is very good. I think this is actually pretty good. Yeah, because a lot of times we'll run one walker, or it could get rid of enchantments. Yeah, which I mean is not bad. Do we like this? Uh nah, we can cut that one. It's too slow. I like I like being able to like control it right away. This seems very good. Yeah, that's that thing. It's like I'm going to make your ha- hand Do really bad. Do we care bad. about a free cantrip? Uh it's two mana. Draw three cards. Look at all of your yeah. opponent's hands. Yeah, it seems pretty bad to me. Uh feed the swarm. I yeah. like feed extract brains. Like I don't care big on because they could still just have a lot of cards in your hand, in their hand and show you nothing but lands and not get anything. Yeah, and you have to like pay X to like look at all their cards. If you're playing against like enchantments, what 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 universe do you think you're going to be able to look at their entire hand? Mm-hmm. Like they're going to have like thirty cards in their hand, you know? Or if it, or if you're playing against Derek, yeah. Every Der- every, well, me, me and you kind of play similar. We like to draw a lot of cards. Do we think? Yeah. Th- do we think exhaust? This is too mean, or? Yeah, I guess kind of. Maybe it just shuts someone off for a turn, but like it shuts it all of them, them off for a turn. But I mean, it says they don't uh, uh, untap, and like if someone's not playing a lot of stuff on their turn, like then it's just not really affecting them at all. Mm-hmm. So what do you think? So, so maybe that that one could. It's just okay. Like that one could go. Yeah, that that's more just like in the annoying category, like Thoughtseize. These all seem good. I I'm hyped to try that. That seems kind of good. Uh, that's for combo that kills. This is just mm-hmm. good value. So what are we down to? Still need to cut ten. Ugh. All right. So terminate seems good. Terminate's better than grasp. So maybe we cut that. Because we also have like mastery, bedevil, hagger mauling, downfall. What do you think? Grasp is the um, worst, right? I think that one. Yeah, I just don't like losing the life. Yeah. We don't really have a lot of way to get it back. Yeah. So snap seems good. Reiterates part of a combo. Salindi's a land. Sublime targets, so you get copies of this. I know that it's magical Christmas land to maybe copy something. I mean, some of the best things you could copy like this. The Storm Kiln, the Sphinx, the Nightscape, uh, Harmonic, Gutter Snipe, Bait Stitcher, 
Like, they're still good targets. And also, if you happen to draw the vile, uh, vile duplication. Mm hmm. So. Uh. Fury Storm's a combo. This can kill people. This will allow cryptic, cyclonic. This is probably the worst one. Uh. Maybe Mastery's the next worst one, but it exiles and it hits Planeswalkers. Read from the real. I like the things that untap the commander. And this is at worst a mana rock. Yeah. Or untapping our commander, or untapping like a Lithoform Engines or a Gilded Lotus seems cool. Yeah, there's actually a decent amount of things that it works with. Uh. These are our win cons, and they're also just very good. Uh, everything else seems like it's too hard to cut. It's like, I, I want the one way to untap our commander. Like, that's the only good way what to if, do it. No, I, never mind. What were you thinking? I was thinking maybe, about, maybe, like, Maybe uh, melee's too much, and keeping the other ones are better. Yeah, I've, I've, I've seen myself cut that a card a lot, and when I do have it out, like, it's cool when it's out, but, like, finding the turn to get it down, mm -hmm. it just kind of, eh. And I think this is just better. This, this, and the Brawl, and the Jesus Sanctum are just better. Because they also give you value, so. Uh... Mm -hmm. So we gotta cut seven more cards. So it's probably still maybe some of these. Vandal Blast is good. You just even play Vandal Blast. Not even for the fact that you can pay three for this and hit three things, but it's just a really good way to deal with artifacts. Maybe we cut one more kill spell. So let's see how many we're playing. One, two, three, four, five. Do you think that's a cut one? Uh, maybe. So it would be we also have feed, and we have feed the swarm too. Oh, right, so it'd be this, right? Because we, I like the planeswalker utility. You think? And baleful mastery hits other stuff, but devil hits. Other, yeah, I guess it's baleful the worst mastery one. is two mana exiles them, and even though they draw a card, it's a planeswalker. Yeah. So or you could just pay the four mana if you have it. So I guess terminates the the worst one, which is crazy to say. That's crazy, Derek. Terminates a bad card. Yo, know, Sublime Epiphany could get copied in this is in a really crazy way. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, because you could target one of their stuff to bounce. So it yeah. Mm -hmm. You get three of them. And God forbid you get one of these or like the Sphinx or something, like you could copy the Nightscape familiar, make everything cost a million less. And like I said, we have this, which takes away legendary from something. So the dream of maybe copying copying like Veyran or something, and then just being like Cool, Sublime Epiphany, targeting all of them, making that many copies. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so... I don't think we're cutting any of these. No, I don't want to keep all that. Because I like the ramp plus untapping. This new card's hot. For an uncommon. I think it's hot. Yeah. Uh. So... What becomes the worst? What is this one again? Mind Games is the... Yeah, it dicks them. Like that, that's like a win con, pretty much. It's like, I'm going to search for your library and put like the worst cards in your hand right now. So it's like, you're going to get the worst mana dorks. You're going to get like all lands. I think just putting all lands in their hand. Mm -hmm. It also is like one of the things, like, hey, do you have counter spells? You better counter this. So you're getting rid of a counter spell either way, and then you still get the copies to go off on the other players. Do we think it doesn't even... acquires the worst? I think so, because it's Hold just on. one artifact. Let, let's, th let's think of the format right now. What would we be getting? And, like, yes, the dream of them having a Blightsteel Colossus, right? Like, what are the most played, played artifacts in the uh, game right now? It could get, like, Brass's Bounty, I guess, if they're randomly playing that. It could get... Uh, Great Henge, right? That's an artifact, right? So, it, the top most played cards are Soul Ring, Signet, uh, Swords, Cultivate, Counterspell, Beast, then Is It Signet, Rakdos, Signet, Rampant Growth. Wait, Psychonic can you just Crypt, check Jumper, the Rampant. highest played artifacts? Not the... Um, can I look at just artifacts? On I, th I think you can on uh, EDH Rec. I think that there's some way to do it. 
by type oh. artifacts. Oh, oh, okay, you found it. There you go. Right. So Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, Demir Signet, Rack. It's all the Signets. Well, then yeah. it's Lightning Greaves, Swift Foot Boots. Then it's the Talismans. Then it's Felwar Stone. So the first thing that's not a mana ramp, a mana artifact, is Skull Clamp and Bolus of Citadel. Oh, and then it's yeah, Bolus Citadel. Then it's more ramp. Then it's the Great Henge. Yeah, there's then it's a great more ramp. See, so for your I named the top ones of the <laughs> like, but there's definitely some hitters there. Like I think everybody might have a good artifact in their deck, so it's probably worth it. Because at worst, we're playing seven mana to ramp more again. Like even if we just get three soul rings, right? Yeah, true. That means we basically went down one mana to play, and if we have a mana reduction. It could basically net even. In and it depends on how good their deck is. Because if we're playing against a deck that plays like Mana Vault or Crypt or something, like, you know, mm. it seems, I think, I think it's still worth it. There's definitely some, some beefer. And we know that creatures are crazy. So that's the thing. Are we still someone's like Aether Flux Reservoir or something? And this seems very good. <laughs> At worst, it just draws a card. Uh, we still need to cut six cards. Maybe we just don't need Thought Vessel. Maybe we just play with the decanter and reliquary and call yeah, it a maybe day. Because we don't draw as much. We also it's have this. Draw heavy. We also have this. Yeah. So I, I think that's fine, right? Cutting that. Yeah. We just cut thought vessel from a deck. <laughs> 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 My insides hey, just it. burnt. I, like, I, want, I want to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's true. Like some decks just want to play this. All right. Back yeah, off we us, not, okay? You know, we literally talk about this at like yeah. there's certain decks that will want decanter over thought vessel because sometimes you want the color. Look at this. Look at this. Look mm -hmm. at this. Look at this. <laughs> Look yeah. at these. When you have counterflux and bedevil in your hand. Look at and this. The, and yeah. Seriously. And the chrome chrome lantern is starting to become like a staple because like we we used to say like Dex did not need this card as much, but, like, if you want to play everything that's good nowadays, like, especially if they're going heavy on the pips, like, you need it. Same you're, thing you're with Urborg. And that sucks, because this is $40, and that just got reprinted, too, which is insane to me. And Chrome Lantern is, what, 12 which needs a reprint. And so does this. In a not-time spiral set. Okay, so what do we like the least? I actually really like Freed from the Real. This is, like, one of the best ways to do it. Yeah, I think that could, like, kind of come out of there. Wait, out shouldn't of we, wait, wait, shouldn't we play the other one? Isn't it better, right? Pemnum Zora? Uh, technically, it's better. It's, but it's just probably. heavier. It's heavier on the mana, right? Because it's, like, double blue? No, I think it's about I think it's about the same. I think it's just older and more uh, harder to find. No, I, I think it's double blue instead of... Uh, is it, oh, yeah, I think it is two blue and one. Two blue and one, yeah, and... It also, hold on, it does more weight. The Chanted Creature can't be the target of spells or abilities. Do you, I think it's worth it to just try and play this over it, right? It's only $10. Okay. Or even right. just, like, play them both, you think, or that's too much? Nah, it's more so, like, a gimmicky. I think, like, I think gimmicky, Freed, but it's like... I think Freed's better. Oh, I mean, this is better, sorry. Yeah. And we're playing mostly blue, so... And the filters are gonna really help in this deck. So, this is where they come in, like, very important. So, uh, maybe even we play, like, Exotic Orchard over a Fifth Island? We oh, just, I like we Exotic Orchard. Play, we should just play more things. Uh, maybe, maybe we should also play, like, a Felwar Stone. No, no, I don't, I don't think we need it as, like, ramp. As ramp. Well, I think no, the ramp well, here's the thing I'm thinking of, Tom, is that we could, we could steal stuff. A lot of our cards take stuff from our opponents. We might actually need it, because, I mean, Chromatic Orchard... Well, well, well remember, a, a lot of them are... A lot of them are just add any color, remember, not just... True. The only ones that aren't are the Talismans and Signet, and we're, we're actually mm. playing mostly things, and then we actually have Chromatic Lantern, too, which just gives mm. us... So, and we, we make treasures off this and, like, Brass's Bounty, or, you know... So, I think we're good? Uh, I see your logic, though, because I put Felwar Stone in Rubina, because when I steal things, I want to have every mana. So, like, that yeah. logic, that logic fits. But I think we're good for this. Oh my god, Reflecting Pool's down to $8. Should we play that, too? We could play that. That's fine. I like it, because it, it hits I'm just, color. I'm just thinking that we need as much as we possibly can play. Because, like, we are heavy on the pips for this. 
Like, and I would say City of Brass and the other one if it wasn't so, like, ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So do I cut another island for a reflecting pool? And we do three three swamps and two mountains? All right. Yeah, so I think that's fair. Yeah, okay. Now that they're worth less, now that reflecting pool's worth less, it's the time to play it. It used to be like twenty five dollars. Yeah. To be fair, because it's in a, a very easy access set set like Commander Legends, mm -hmm. basically, it probably will keep it down for a little while. Yes. All right. So we need to cut five more cards. This is this. You, is... you have fun with that. I'm I'm checking out for the night. Have a good night. You you figure it out. <laughs> this is this is bad. Everything is fun. I don't want to cut anything. See, like, I feel like this is a cut, but having the, like, one time get everything back, because we're playing zero recursion. Oh, we have Kess. We're playing one spell <laughs> that we have to exile them to use. That's it. But it's basically a Snapcaster Mage every turn. Usually we play, like, Mystic Retrieval as well, which we probably should play, honestly. Mystical Retrieval. That's, that's the best one to do. I hate to add things, but we need it. It's very good. Mm-hmm. Uh, I actually don't play that in Pockwell Dan, only because I have green, so I get to play, like, Balagad and Regrowth, so I have, like, just slightly better. Oh, no, I get Dryad's Revival, which is, like, a better Mystic Retrieval. That's the Balagad Recovery with Flashback Dryad's Revival. Mm -hmm. Uh, but maybe we cut this now that we add that, because I think making the tokens doesn't matter where we're playing, right? I guess, yeah. Shark Typhoon is, like, the best one doing it, and, like, we're just playing so much interaction and stuff to hurt them that it should be hard for them to do what they're doing. You know, and have we shouldn't dream really of need to block, you know? Also, Vadric can actually make the reduction cost get really up there really quickly by just, like, pass turn. Yeah, you just gotta like... keep up. You gotta keep up with it. Like, you gotta make sure you're paying attention to... Maybe Praetor's Grasp is a bad one, too, because you have to actually cast them. I, I yeah, just yeah. like that this is anything, though. Mm-hmm. Sorry you're breaking up on me real hard, but... Oh, oh well, maybe my mic is in the wrong spot. No, no, I mean, no, like, uh, internet connection is kind of pooping out on uh, me right now. Well, yeah, so, uh, maybe, uh... Well, I said Praetor's Grass, but now that I'm arguing that, uh... Well, actually, the problem with this is you need the mana, right? Uh, yeah, but it stays uh, exiled for, like, as long as it's, like, mm -hmm. for the whole time, doesn't it? It just sits there. You don't have to cast it right away, right? No. And it is any card. So. Mm -hmm. You can even just be, I'm going to get a land if I really need it. Like. Or more soul rings. Yeah. May, or maybe you have like a thought vet, uh, uh, a Nykthos. And no, uh, maybe yeah, I can use no, it. No, it's definitely still worth it. It's only five mana. Five mana, get three free card, three cards. Let's go. Okay, so we have Expressive Iteration, Bane Fire. Maybe, is Torment the worst in here, or no? Because um, we can't really copy it outside of, like, Swarm Intelligence. And Double Vision, and Reiterate, and Fury Storm. Okay, that's and, decent. And like, Primal Amulet, Lithoform Engine, Twinning Staff. So if you copy it, like, if you have, like, no, it's, even a no, single it's copy. It's worth, it's worth, I can't. I can't even argue with it. Yeah, uh, it's, it's so good. Okay, so maybe Arcane Denial is the worst one, right? The worst counter spell we have. What about Snap? Or is Cryptic bad? Well, like, what about Snap? Like, Snap is cool. It untap a bunch of stuff. For, uh, instant. It, it basically untaps six lands for two mana. And it bounces three. It bounces no, three that's creatures. Actually, that's yeah. actually really good. <sighs> yeah, that bounces three creatures too. So yeah. Which, I mean, bouncing kind of sucks, but, I mean, you're playing a lot of counter spells. So is Cryptic or Arcane Denial worse? Cryptic does target something, so it is better as, as a card. I do like Cryptic, though. Like, if you're going... So the cool thing you can do... Okay, well, the awkward thing with Cryptic is, depending on your modes, um, if it's just... You want, you're want, you basically going to want to be... Uh, bounce something, draw a card, because mm -hmm. if it's counter spell. Or counter, just gonna or have... counter bounce. Yeah, but then you just get to bounce every th three things, and well, bounce two things and counter but the thing. I guess know? it's that versatility that makes it useful, right? Because that's like yeah. the same thing here, where it's like sometimes I just want to draw three cards, or I target one creature with this and get to bounce three things and draw two cards. 
Yeah, or you like t uh, so like draw I a think, card, I bounce think two things, and then you'd st still draw three three things and bounce six things. So it's better than this, you think? I think so. Okay. So four more cards. Okay. Uh... Maybe we don't care. Maybe you're right. Maybe Harmonic Prodigy is just cute. <sighs> I think that's a maybe more thing, definitely. Because I think it's that good. Oh, Tom. I just realized Veyron, I think, makes Swarm Intelligence trigger a second time because yeah, it is why whatever, you it's whatever you can. Oh, it's so, so gross. Hold on. The way that he's worded, so under, understand this, is yeah. whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, uh, so if you're, ca okay, if casting or copying an instant or sorcery spell causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. So it doubles yeah, it's real this, good. it doubles this, it doubles activating that. It doubles our commander. It doubles storm kiln. It doubles niv visit. It doubles gutter snipe. It doubles Dika. It doubles archmage swarm shark. Jace's sanctum double vision. Uh, both of these. So it's the entire deck pretty much. Yeah, he's the bet. He's the better one of harmonic prodigy, which is why he's like five or six dollars on his own because he was like a pre-con commander wasn't he yes he was a pre-con yeah he was one of the like two that came out whoa we got a good amount of people watching right now one two three four like nine eight nine people hello everybody Three. greetings friends mm -hmm. uh we're just building two of the best commanders out of the new boulders gate set and having trouble because me and derek have played with a lot of these cards a lot so we know that everything's good uh, so maybe, maybe we are, okay, maybe, maybe, we, maybe snap is just, but on tap six lands, but it takes four mana to do that. So you only need to technically generate plus two, unless you have a reduction cost. And, and again, bouncing is, is really not that amazing, right? Like, I, I think like capsize ends up being better most of the time than snap does. Oh, wait, there it is. Uh, down, yeah. Um. Oh, right, what if we? May, what if we don't worry about like the bribery theft things? They seem cool, but like, unless we're playing, like, I, if we're just stealing, I don't know. No, it's if, their only if every okay. Unless they're pre and even if they're playing a precon, their best creature in their deck is a problem. No matter who you're mm -hmm. targeting, you're going to find something that is very good, I think. For All right. For seven mana, getting to tutor their library, I think maybe Praetor's Grasp is maybe the worst one because you have to cast everything, and that's maybe a problem. But, oh, no. But, again, you are you can just get the mana rocks again. And it just sits there for whenever you want to cast. It's kind of like a Gonti effect. And it's the cheapest one of doing it. Yeah, I want to play with that. Orestis is part of one of the combo pieces with Reiterate. That, Mana Geyser, and Jessica's. They're also just good. Like, so. Jessica's Will's insane in this deck because it targets an opponent. Yep, so you get it three times, one for each opponent, and you get all that mana in exile and not top nine cards and go to town. Which means it almost always combos with Reiterate. This is so <laughs> difficult. Maybe we just don't care about untapping it. Yeah, okay. Benham. Trash card. <sighs> Makes me so sad. Not trash card, but like a trash card. Makes me so sad. It's just so hard to cut anything else, and he doesn't like go with the deck. He's just another way to untap, and we're already playing three ways to do that, and he's very and expensive. If he also is the equivalent if like we kind of didn't play anything on the turn anyway. Yeah, so I, he's really good in decks that like that kind of want to play a lot of stuff and then untap. Mm -hmm. But like we're probably gonna be a very interactive board, or we're gonna like have these big blowout turns where mm -hmm. one more card.
Maybe we cut G probe and keep peak because maybe peak's good enough on its own. No, no, they're both too good. I think they both still draw. I mean, worse comes to worse, and they trigger all this stuff. And then with the commander, they're cheating. G probe is free and draws three cards. This could kill us, by the way. Oh, it's true. It does copy. Yeah, no, maybe we cut that then. Because the life loss. We have no real way to gain life. And as much as a good removal it is, I mean, we don't have to copy it. But I feel like if you're not copying it, like, what's the point, my dude? Look at the deck. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Those will all go in the maybe, as honorary mentions. And we'll play and see what happens. Okay, so... Right. 